Did dinosaurs ever exist? There certainly is such a thing as animals that existed and were extinct. The Tachash, we're told, was made specifically for the Mishkan, and after that, that creature of the Tachash doesn't, doesn't exist anymore. Um, and there certainly could have been some things that were extinct because they were no longer needed. In a general way, we're told that everything that was around before the Mabul continued to be around after the Mabul because Moshe Rabbeinu was, uh, Noyach was commanded to take into the Teva Shtayim, Shtayim, Zachar, Nekeva, Yiyu, male and female of each living creature. So if there were dinosaurs before the Mabul, there probably would have been dinosaurs after the Mabul. They could have gone extinct at any other time in history because Hashem decided they're no longer necessary. However, all that having been said, the important point is that all the scientific experiments that prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that there was such and such is actually for those who study science and know what exactly it says it's a little bit of a a, a, a fooling the layman and the simple person by telling him this is what science discovered that this is what had to have happened science itself knows that there's nothing in science that's definite if we look at the rules in science, most things that science deal with is called theories. Sometimes, seldom, in science there's something called a law. What makes something become a law in science? If 51% of the questions that there are can be answered even if there's 49 percent that are not answered then we call it a law if it's less than that which is usually what it is you can have something which there is three questions that are answered then this theory will be stronger even though there's 150 questions that aren't answered because this theory managed to answer three or four or five questions whereas other theories only managed to answer one question later you'll find another theory that answers more questions and therefore you'll go to that one a theory is the way science works and the way it's supposed to work, the way the human mind is supposed to work into delving into the secrets of the creation through trying to understand. And we can't come to a definitive understanding of what's happening. Even things that we think are definite later can be disproven and seen as they're totally the opposite of definite. That's something that we're supposed to do, delve into it. However, in this situation, without going into anything too complicated. When we do something which is called a, a test tube theory, or a, 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 a test tube experiment, or a lab, laboratory experiment, means I'm taking things and I'm experimenting how it works based on the laboratory. So I can take something and say that in the laboratory I can see that this is what happens. But outside in the big world with all the elements and everything that comes, it could have had a totally different effect. But we can only deal with what we're able to deal with. So if I look at bones or fossils and I look at them and I say, well, based on the laboratory this is how i put it together and this is what it is and this is how old is it, it is etc etc i'm not taking into account for example a tree a tree has rings if a tree has a million rings that means there's another ring that comes each year but another ring that comes each year means in regular situation under regular circumstances what would happen if that tree went through some extreme weather changes or extreme pressure or whatever it may be? It could be that it's suddenly just like a person who ages a hundred years in one day. It didn't mean he actually aged. A person looks at him and a scientist will look at his body and see this person has everything of a hundred year old person. 
it came from whatever pressures or whatever outside influences there were, whether weather situations, etc. So the proof that this is the way it is, sure, science we're supposed to do and we're supposed to try and understand the Torah is the only ultimate truth. The fact that the Torah says the world is 5,777 years old now, that's the facts. To change that because of a theory is not only foolish and irresponsible, it's totally not true. Because the theory didn't have any facts behind it. The theory is something nice when there's no facts that it is contradicting. And in a similar fashion, when you take a bunch of bones or fossils and you put them together and decide, well, this looks like what it could be. It could have been a bunch of other things. This is the one that makes the most sense. It's nice. It's very possible. It could have happened when it fits with the Torah. That's beautiful. That's amazing. If not, whatever doesn't fit with the Torah, we have a fact against the theory, and therefore the fact is what's the stronger. Concept.